Hello there. Well, when I made this video, it was mid-June and things have changed a great deal since then because we've not had a drop of rain and we're in drought conditions. So it's quite nice to look back to mid-June when uh, things were a lot better. Well, it's August now and um, we've uh, decided not to fish the river so as not to put the uh, small wild trout under any extra stress because the water levels are low and the temperature of the water is nearly 20 degrees uh, centigrade anyway um, I can always look back at this and uh, uh, see what a lovely day it was and you can see from this angle how easy it is to cast with a tenkara rod I'm using the uh, uh, the maxi catch uh, at its full length 10 foot 6 I don't really need to have a shorter rod. I find that uh, even uh, in difficult conditions uh, of for branches and things, uh, a shorter rod isn't much of an advantage. But you'll see how easy it is for the line to just drop onto the water. It hardly makes a ripple. And there's the first little brown trout. It's a, it's a, dra a, a brown trout par. So uh, this little fish could either become a sea trout or stay in the river and become a brown trout. It's exactly the same species. We don't, nobody really knows why they, some go back to the sea and uh, others uh, remain in the rivers. Of course they don't grow that big in a small stream like this. You can't really roll cast with a tenkara rod uh, because the line is so light. In fact, the line hardly makes a, a mark on the water at all. And, it, and it's very accurate. You, it seems to, because you, you always have your forefinger uh, pointing down the rod and um, it, it, uh, it seems to guide it exactly where you want to be. And because you're casting at a fixed length, uh, that makes it easier as well. You'll see when I catch the next fish uh, how well camouflaged they are with these um, the pebbles. There's a sort of lot of iron oxides in the uh, geology of these streams, uh, so the, st the pebbles become very red or brown, I should say, really, or sort of ochre colour. Now I'm going to catch another one. There's a little, another little small. Uh, sometimes we call them just fingerlings, uh, but it's a par, and you you can see the markings that uh, distinguish it as a, a par. It's a juvenile brown trout, which could be a sea trout, as I said before. And that one whizzes off. You can see the colour of the the pebbles. And then I even get another one. This one shoots off just as quickly as the other one. You can see the river's not high now, and this is this is June. We haven't had any rain it, uh, since. It's a lovely river, and uh, you very rarely see another fisherman on on the river because it's uh, there's quite a lot of water, and it's quite wild. There's a little rise, but I think I just missed it. Anyway, there's always plenty to see on the river. It's not just about fishing. Look at these lovely dog roses. I've just spotted uh, some damselflies. They're quite beautiful with their sort of uh, beautiful vivid green. And that sort of emerald green colour. They're, um, they are not always easy to distinguish from dragonflies but they are they are different now 
there they go there's the damsel fly and as you see that uh, there are, I've mentioned the differences between them it's a more delicate uh, insect really anyway I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this video and uh, I uh, hope you would like to subscribe or or click a like at least goodbye for now